guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sat here barefaced because it's time to talk to you about the brand new Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. So I'm super excited to do a quick review of this. I'm obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury products. Before I start, I just want to say this product was very kindly gifted to me um, with no obligation to post. I'm not being paid to do this video. There's a little ad on the screen right now just so you can see that it was gifted to me. But this is my honest opinion. I'm very excited to use this foundation. I've watched so many videos about it and everyone seems to have a different opinion about it. So I thought I would try it myself. So packaging in true Charlotte style is beautiful. I feel like everything Charlotte does is absolutely beautiful. Now a lot of people have said do not apply this um, without a brush and on the actual website it does use a brush. However, I want to see what it's like without a brush um, because I want to see. <laughs> so I'm just going to, obviously my face is a completely different colour to my body because I've tanned. Um, and also my nail checked which is really quite frustrating last night oh yeah so basically everyone's been saying that when you apply this to your skin with your fingers it's just not as nice I would actually say it melts right into my skin it feels more like a tinted moisturizer also my skin is super 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 pink right now because I had quite an intense facial the other day um, but yeah what I would say is that that's just like a tiny bit with my fingers and I'm trying not to use the gammy fingers so with my horrible nail. <laughs> um, and that, to me, is like more of a tinted moisturiser. So on Charlotte's website it says that it's medium buildable coverage. So let's go on with a brush and see if this comes out better. Obviously you don't have to use a Charlotte Tilbury brush. I will link everything that I've talked about on this video below, including the brush that I use. Um, a good foundation brush you just cannot beat it so I actually really it depends on the time of year depending on how much foundation I like and I read on Charlotte Tilbury's website that this you can still tan whilst wearing it so I feel like they launched this as a summer foundation kind of spring summer you maybe want to wear it on a holiday you still want a little bit of coverage um, see now I've put it on with a brush it's definitely a lot better coverage but I have put like a fair few pumps on um, Coverage wise, you can still see I'm quite pink underneath um, on this side. I have a terrible eye bag. I was speaking to my face just about it, um, Nicola Joss, and she basically said um, it's not just about skin care, it's about diet. So I need to be drinking more water, sleeping more, and getting lots of fruit and vegetables in because I was like, I just have the worst eye bags. Um, sorry, I'm using my phone so I can see it, but hopefully, you guys can see on the camera that actually the coverage is so much better now. Um, it's quite dewy, like it's not shiny, but it definitely gives a really nice healthy glow. Also the weather is horrendous today, so it's quite hard. Definitely not the day to be filming a makeup video, but I'm hoping you guys can see that it's actually really nice. Like it just looks very healthy, very glowy, very natural. And this color is actually lovely. So I didn't know if this was gonna be the right color because I always tan. And I did tan last night, so I'm a little bit over tanned right now. Sorry about me. This is shade 5 neutral. And I usually, I have like three foundations that I'm obsessed with. I really need to do a blog post about them. I'll link my favourites below. But this one, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, is a foundation that I was using for so, so, so long until I hit pan and ran out. And what I would say is the difference, obviously, is the coverage of this is like insane. If I'm filming and I wear this, my skin just looks flawless and so covered up. And if you don't want that vibe and you want something that's more buildable, actually, this, it is beautiful skin. It does make your skin look beautiful, like, apart from my eye bags. I feel like my skin looks very healthy, very glowing. What do you guys think? Saves for your best healthy looking skin every day. And I would say it's definitely giving me that kind of healthy skin. Says skin looks more radiant by up to 285%. I never know where these numbers come from, but they're all from scientific studies, apparently. And I would say my skin does look super, super radiant. Like, we went from kind of dull skin to hello radiant it's long lasting and it's got pollution defense in oh my gosh i love products that have pollution defense in because i live in london the weather is horrendous i use a product which i'll link below by elizabeth arden which is like a daily primer and again that has pollution defense in and i need that so the fact that this 
has the pollution defense in it is amazing. Does it have SPF in it? It doesn't say anything about having SPF in it. What I would say is when I've spoken to facialists and stuff anyway, they always say that you should just put SPF on every single morning, whether it's winter, summer, anyway, because there's not enough of it spread around in the product, if that makes sense, to give like a clear coating on the face. So it says that it's got undetectable coverage, it improves the look of skin with each wear, uh, so it's like makeup, it's like skincare within makeup, which I love. It's a medium coverage, can vouch for that. Now I've put more on. <laughs> I would say it's a light to medium buildable coverage. It's light as I, it definitely feels light. I feel like I've got nothing on my face. I don't feel dirty. And what I would say about Airbrush Flawless is sometimes I feel a bit dirty with it on my skin. It doesn't feel caked and heavy. I just feel like it's, it's a bit dirty because obviously I've put so much on and it's quite thick and it's quite nice to wash that off. Whereas this has that kind of feel of a light tinted moisturizer. It's got hydrating hyaluronic acid and brightening rose complex so that would be the skincare within it which is great because it's one of those things that you can wear and you know that you're not damaging your skin you're actually helping the skin whilst you wear it and my skin is so dry at the moment this is probably the product that I should be switching to so that it's been hydrated while I'm wearing it and it says skin looks more beautiful instantly I can concur with that one and over time for a healthy looking glow and a brighter smoother looking complexion Clinically proven results, it boosts hydration up to 166%, skin looks plumper and smoother by 181%, and the skin tone looks more even by 210%. Now I would say I started this video with quite pink skin from my facial, I was told that's quite normal, and actually now I've put more coverage on it, it's definitely covered that, so I can definitely say that my skin tone feels more even, and as I say my skin just looks healthier. So it's meant to minimise the appearance of pores, reduce the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots, and the skin appears instantly brighter. Blend out towards from the centre of your face for a natural looking coverage. So personally, I think it is a gorgeous foundation, it definitely gives you that beautiful skin. It's not something I would wear on kind of like a heavy coverage day if I was like going on a night out, but I think it would be perfect for like a lovely lunch meeting, spring summer, it's probably going to be the spring summer foundation of the year. I've seen a lot of girls on TikTok, some girls have said they like it but it's not their favourite. Um, and I guess I will need to wear it for longer to see how I got on with it through the day. Is it going to slide off my face? Is it going to stay? This one has amazing staying power and never needs topping up. But personally, I just love it. I think it's so natural, so lightweight. It's just a different kind of foundation. I would say it has that tinted moisturizer vibe with better coverage. So I hope you like this. Do leave any comments below. I will link everything below as well. And I hope you like how this looks on my skin. Thank you so much for watching this video.